Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. Hi everyone, Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. Did you miss that intro? Did you miss it? I missed it. It's so nice to have it back. <laughs> Although, don't get used to it. Wink, wink. Um, anywho, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. It's so nice to see you. I have kind of a weird video today. Weird in the sense that it's very impromptu and I need your help. <laughs> so, I have been seeing everyone posting their 2021 goals and all that jazz and I'm still sitting here like, goals? I'm not even thinking about goals yet. The ball has not dropped. <laughs> I really don't think about goals until I am like into the new year. So I need your help. Now, what help do you ask? Well, I'm putting together my goals and I'm thinking a lot about what I would like next year to look like for my channel. And I want to include a lot of you in that because it's because of you that I am where I am today. Now, clearly, I've got a lot of stuff I have to clean up. I've got coconut to put away, all this garland to put away, but in addition to that, my shelves are a hot mess. Now, if you recall throughout the year, I've done a bunch of hauls, I've done a bunch of challenges, I made the snowman. All of those books have to be put back or be rearranged in some sense. And right now, it's a hot mess. So I need your help. I'm thinking about doing reorganization videos. Now, if you follow me from the beginning, you know I've done this like twice now. Um, but I'm wondering if I should still stay with the color scheme because now since I got the new shelves, which are over there, those are all the books that I have read. These are all books in most cases that I have not read. So these are my TBR shelves. So how should I reorganize them? Should I stay with the color scheme? Should I do by author? I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments below. How should I reorganize my shelves? Um, I'll take all of your comments into consideration and kind of figure out what's going to work best. And then I'll film it for you. Next piece that I need help with. I've been doing a few lives recently and I feel like they've been getting some nice traction. Do you like live videos? Um, when I say live, I mean sometimes I do live chats and sometimes I do like reading sprints, I guess you could call them. Do you like either or? Do you want more of both? Do you want more of one or the other? I don't know if maybe once a month I need to plan to do a productivity sprint or a reading sprint. Um, tell me, what are your thoughts there? What are good times for that? I'm just, I'm trying to put together my 2021 goals and I have a few ideas myself, but like I said, you have got me where I am today and I want to make sure I include your voice in this as well because obviously it's up to you if you like what you see and I want to include you in that. So tell me in the comments below, how should I reorganize my shelves and what kind of lives do you want to see? Do you like lives? Do you not like lives? How frequently should I do lives? Should it just be chats or should it be reading sprints? Should it be both? Let me know. And then if there's anything else that you particularly like on my channel um, that you've seen before and you want me to do again or that you hope to see in 2021, I'm really just looking to make sure that I am keeping you all as happy as possible because that's the main point. So, um, um, until next time, I hope you are reading something great, taking care, and staying safe. And y'all know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye!